Hello there. Okay, so it's uh, another one of my Q&A chats. And uh, tonight, it's uh, my old friend, Mark Williams. Um, he's not feeling too good at the moment. So um, his voice is actually sounds a bit like uh, Barry White. So um, we'll see what, he's, what condition he's in. And uh, got lots of questions again. Uh, thank you all so much. Um, as I said, it would be very difficult to do a Q&A without all the questions that you're sending in, so I really appreciate it. Um, looking forward to this tonight. Let's just see if he's around. Oh, I see my mum's watching. Hi, mum. This is Mark Williams. He's pretty new to uh, Instagram, so you might not know what he's doing here. Don't see him yet. Da, 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 da. Must be early for him. Come on, Willow. Ak, Ak, my hey legend. Hi, how are you doing? Good evening. Nice of you to join us again. I never know what to say in these bits when I'm waiting for the person to come on. It's very awkward, isn't it? I wouldn't put it past them actually to deliberately delay me. It would be just like, just like him. Let's see, is any questions in here? Hi Stephen, JR, JRT underscore nut 45. Hi Stephen, Toby Fisher, hi. Two favourite players of all time. Well, you've only got one at the moment, because Williams ain't here yet. Ah, oh, dear. I knew this would happen, to be fair. Ah, oh, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. Wait for Mark Williams, MBE. Willow! I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I love that you got that picture in the background, though. I don't know what you've done with your. You mute, unmute it. Have you muted, muted your thing or not? Mark Williams left. Request him again. Someone's put Valley's Wi Fi. He <laughs> could be right. Everyone's been perfect. Every Q&A I've been done is everyone's just come on just nicely, no problems. Well, Steve was a little delayed with Steve, but um, yeah, typical, typical Williams. 
Right, second time lucky. Can you, you hear anything? I can hear you now. Well done. Oh, right. uh, shut up. What, why, did, why did you have to have that picture in the background? You couldn't resist, did you? It's just, <laughs> it's just Andy and it. <laughs> uh, just in case you forget about anything, you know. Uh, for those who don't know, that's the final where I missed the black in the deciding frame. And that's why he's deliberately set up his camera. It's just coincidence, Steve. Anyway, I just, wait now, while you're watching that, I'm just cleaning my clogs. I'm playing on Wednesday, so I'm just cleaning my... Oh, you can't play on wheels, can you? Oh, that's a shame. Piss off. <laughs> How are you, old buddy? Uh, not you're not, bad, not, yeah. not feeling well, are you? I've been rough the last five or six days, yeah, but getting a little bit better. It's not the, not the thing, is it? Oh, I don't know. Just normal, and I always get a bad chest, and it. How, how, can, you? how can you play golf Wednesday and we can't? That's, you're going to be sending me pictures all day now. Look, Boris has just had the press conference. You could have asked a question. Yeah, can't wait. Can I be Mark Hendry for a few days? <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know if I can play. I mean, I still don't, I've not had a, an email from the club to say the club's open or not. So You know you can play. I can play, but where am I going to play? I can't just turn up somewhere, can I? Well, can you play on your own? You'd love that. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, it wouldn't be the last. How bored are you? One to ten? Oh, 50. I've had enough now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only doing this with you for an hour, so you haven't got to like, leave the kids out there and leave them on their own. Pass an hour away, when it? It's an hour you'll never get back, by the way. <laughs> right. Right, yeah. Where are you? You're saying a snooker room? Yeah, I'm in the snooker room. It's the only place I get peace and quiet because they never think they look for me in years. It's the last place they think they'd be. So I thought I'd come in here. No doubt they'll come screaming in sooner or later. But uh... You're not practising though, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you turn into, into a comedian in this uh, lockdown. <laughs> You're know, right, yeah. Just bring up brand new cloth, brand new balls. No, I don't know what's played on it for five years, I don't think. You don't miss it? You don't miss snooker now? Um, no, I, don't, I haven't missed snooker one bit, if I'm honest. Really? Uh, I, I miss going out and about, especially playing golf. And I'm mm. going to laugh, give my cars, pop into a pub or something like that. But I am miss playing snooker one bit. I haven't even come into my head. What if, what if, um, I mean, the World Championship is going to be on now, isn't it? Because they're saying sport is going to start from June the 1st. So, uh, so like, when will you start practising? Um, July, <laughs> July the 30th. Yeah, July the 30th. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, is it definitely going to go on? I, I still can't. I still can't see it. Well, they said it. that they said that all sporting events can start to be looking to be going on June first, but behind closed doors, and then they'll keep reviewing it to whether they let people in. I mean, the snooker's like the World Championship's two two months after that. Yeah. yeah but what what happens if Wales are still on lockdown? We can't even allowed to get all, go over the border to play in it. Well, it's your work, isn't it? You're allowed to truly, truly travel to work. I don't know. Do you think you'll be on? Seriously? Yeah. 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 Definitely. No crowd, no crowd at all. Yeah, behind closed doors, I reckon. I mean, I don't even know if we'll we'll be there actually working on it. We might have to do it remotely from a studio in London or something. I don't know. It's not been decided yet, exactly. which would be weird. We're not even been there. I just come back from playing Gibraltar behind closed doors, and there was no one in there, and it was just like, what, what's the point? I mean, it was just like playing in a club. Uh, well, no, it's more atmosphere in a club. No, at least if someone's at the bar or playing next, to it, it was just <laughs> there was no one there. It was like. What, what are we doing? What, what, what about that old club we used to play at? When we, we remember we had a game and we had oh, a game at the table and I'm playing and, and someone came down on a BMX bike down the stairs oh, and crashed. Yeah. Crashed, <laughs> crashed into the pillar, didn't he? He came down about 12 steps, <laughs> crashed into the pillar right next to the table. You uh, you jumped a bit. You was you, you you every time you come to my club you was a bit frightened, wasn't it? Yeah, well, so, someone came up to me. We were in the middle of a game and like put yeah, his face right there, and then and then looked at me and looked at his mate at the bar and then looked at me again. Looked at his mate at the bar. And he went. It's effing Hendry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't like coming here. He was always on edge, he was. Jukebox Bar blasting. Bargoid, was it? Bargoid? Yeah, Bargoid, yeah. Emporium. <laughs> Jukebox is blasting. Everyone was just steaming at like half past ten. You walk in and they're all like staying out and thinking, it can't be him. Can't be. Uh, <laughs> that was, that was. Best that place was. in the world, that. Yeah, so so, so if you think um, so, Gibraltar was obviously no atmosphere. So if the World Championships like that, do you think, it's, think that levels it out? Anyone can win. Right? Um, I mean, it's just going to be strange. I mean, imagine playing in the Crucible, you know, nine all in the first round. You know, the the, the visor goes up in the middle. There's no one there. 
<laughs> you know, the boys would go up, be like, it's not one person here's going to be. What would like, like, it's 17 17? Oh, well, that'd just be great, that would, wouldn't it? But I think like, if it does go ahead, you probably have the most viewing figures it ever had because mm. there won't be many sports going on. But oh, would, would I prefer it to go on? I, I, I probably, probably not, if I'm totally honest. I wouldn't really want to play there with no crowd. It'd be, it'd be so yeah. extreme. Yeah, because I was thinking it might be like more open because obviously no one's played. But I don't know if Land Dudno is going to be on before it. I don't know. That was supposed to be in July. Yeah. But you're, you're not in there. You're, you're not in there, are you? You know I'm not in it. <laughs> Look, as long as you said, yeah, you know as, long as, you got that pic- as long as you got that picture behind. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not in it. No. That's when when I, when I when I was on that black. Did you expect? You didn't think I was going to miss it, obviously. Uh, no, of course not. It's on your. <laughs> like, how do I think you're going to miss this black? It's about two inches from the hole. <laughs> was it? Well, it wasn't. Was it two inches from the hole? Well, three tops. <laughs> Once I seen you cue it, I seen your back arm gone. I thought it ran off about two inches. Yeah, yeah of course it did. <laughs> it's nothing to do about the flicker side you had on it when you, your thumb was going tweet tweet tweet. Come on, it took you twenty years to admit you bottled that. And I said, we we we've all twitched. Anyway, are you are you ready for these? Yeah, how many have we got? Three. Hey. You got a lot. There was there was so many about that black ball. I just got rid of them. Nah. <laughs> it's, it's either it's either answer questions for you or go and play games with the kids. Crack on, Steve. Okay. Uh, my pronunciation of the names is it's never very good. How you got how you got on Instagram by the way? Do you like how many followers have you got now? Um, I don't know how to work it probably five thousand or something. I think. It's all right. Because you hardly hardly posted anything. Yeah, it's not grabbing me. I'm, I much prefer Twitter to be honest. Twitter's vile though, isn't it? It's like... Yeah, but you can't take the stick, can you? When someone gives you no. one of a boost, you block them and then say... <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 more, the more abuse I get, the more I enjoy it. Uh, I'm too you old for that now. I'm too old. It. I can't take it. I can't you take it. Very delete, sensitive. You may as well delete your Twitter account. <laughs> okay, first one. Amit Champaneri. If Mark could replay one match, which one and why? Could be a win or a loss. Um, oh, probably the one against John Higgins in the UK final. We lost, I lost ten nine, I think it was nine five up. I never forget the nine five up when I was. Was oh, that when he was out for six months? No, no, I was I was nine five up on him, and I was twenty three up with a black, and I got a straight black as a spot to go safe, and I I could have played for the yellow, but I just dropped right. the black in, and uh, he got a snuck and beat me and beat me ten nine. So if I could go back. I love that yeah. last shot again and just play for the yellow. Yeah, you know, he just what, just one of your floaters just dropped it in dead weight. Yeah, I just dropped it in a little bit, yeah, and you know, obviously a bit of nerves as well. I thought yeah, yeah. I'd rather go safe and miss the black, but you know, looking back, I probably could have played for the yellow. Mm. Anyway, I lost ten nine. <laughs> um, Jude Murray, fourteen, best moment in your career. Um, well, look, that was one of them. Right, but, okay. uh, it's it's got to be winning the world championship with a the family there because they've never seen me win before. Yeah. And, uh, so that that makes it more special than obviously the first two then. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I mean, everyone wrote me off and they? they didn't think I was going to win another tournament and to come back and prove everyone wrong again. Cause they've they've wrote me off quite a few times over the years. And uh, we, we had we had dinner about two or three or four days after your first round match. He says, I'm, I can't win this and all that. You were just like, <laughs> if I, you were telling me I'm going to go naked if I win it. Well, I mean, you don't mind saying that when you don't think you've got a chance, do you? <laughs> I, mean, I wish I'd never said that now, but you know, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. It's got to be the best win. I mean, mm. first tournament my kids have been there, and the one my one boy was there for about a week. He didn't mm. go to school, but uh, yeah, that was the best part, just for that, because every other tournament I've won, I've always been abroad, or they've never come to see me, so yeah, it was a rare one for me, that. Yeah. Um, I've got Ra- Rahul Satchdev147. At any point in your career, did you feel like quitting? What was it like and how did you overcome it? Um, well, about a couple of years ago, I, I was nearly quit. And I had to sit down with my wife and said, look, every time I'm going to, I'm getting beat easy anyway, and I'm all enjoying it. And I said, we're really thinking about jacking it in. And uh, it was her that really convinced me to carry on. And, and uh, I managed to carry on, but I wanted to try something totally different and that's where Lee Walker was telling me for years to join have a look with Steve Feeney and see what he mm. can bring to the 
to the game and you know it's the best thing I've ever done. So, so it was Lee, Lee that got you together, it wasn't yeah, one of you guys was, doing it? He was trying to get me with him for probably I'd say at least a year and a half, maybe two years and I've been you know I've kept saying nah I don't believe it. I was calling it you know sight wrong and all that stuff to start off and he was helping me around Lee Walker was and in the end he convinced me to he said, just have 20 minutes with him. If you don't like it, leave it. And, you know, it's the best 20 minutes I've ever had because I, I just got it straight away, you know. I mean, you do a little bit. It's hard to explain to someone unless yeah, yeah, yeah. you're on the boards now. But I got it straight away. Um, and it's the best thing I've ever done. And it's resurrecting my career. Obviously, you've still got to practice. It's not mm. a miracle thing. You can't just go and teach out to, you know, someone who can't mm. play the game. And all of a sudden, you start winning tournaments. You've still got to practice and be... Mm. half decent anyway but it gives you a new outlook and the best thing I've ever done and for two years I was playing quite good yeah I mean, I've, I've had half a dozen sessions I think where I still don't totally understand it um, but I, I, you know if you can get me making 50 breaks again it works I'll tell you when it works yeah like, like I said it's not a miracle worker Steve mm. <laughs> uh, Simon underscore Irons who's your toughest opponent oh that's to be between John Higgins and Ronnie O'Sullivan, really. Um, mm. I'd have to sway slightly towards Ronnie. But, uh, so you, you three turned turn pro exactly the same time? Yeah, 1992. I think it was four of us, really. That was one of me, Higgins, uh, Ronnie and uh, Steve Lee. I think right. it was four of us. But, uh, you know, Ronnie and John was always far in front of us playing. And it was like me down below and Steve Lee just behind. But, mm. yeah, we Did you play junior tournaments with them and everything? Amateur tournaments with them? Yeah, all of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, used, uh, yeah I played, uh, I think I beat Steve Lee in the British Open one year. I uh, beat John Higgins uh, in the British Open, I think the year after. And uh, yeah, we played each other quite a lot, yeah. But there was another one who was even better than us all, I think, at the time. I think his name was Jonathan Saunders. He used to be win, win everything. Yeah, he yeah, used to just thrash everyone up. And he was, it was a few back then. Chris Scallon's another one. But yeah. I remember Jonathan... I think it was Jonathan Saunders, his name was, and he, he right. was watching everyone up. Uh, Derek's underscore rolls. What's the key to your unflappable temperament? Um, I think, I think just not caring. You know, I mean, you you just try your best, and if you can come off the table alone, you tried your best, and if you've lost, I mean, that's mm. the worst thing that can happen. I mean, when I lose, I mean, it, it don't. You wouldn't tell if I won or lost something. No. I, can offer them I, I can never, I can never believe it. When I when I like see you, I can tell if you've lost <laughs> half a second or, or other people. You know, they fade red in the face, and you just you can see them up tight. But I've never been one like that. I think that's definitely helped me through my career. Hundred percent. I mean, I, I've, I've, I was going to put up a video actually today because I've still got the video when I was in your dressing room before the final last year, before the final session, and you just got you got the music on. You were Walker, and you're just like having joy. You'd, I mean, if you anyone else in the game, if you went in the dressing room before the final and say, no, 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 get out, get out, it's the final, the final world championship, but you just don't give a shit, do you, really? Not really, it's, I mean, <laughs> don't, you, don't you, I mean, a lot of people don't believe me, but I was in the dressing room even before the final, you come in, mm. there's no nerves, I'm not shaking, I'm not uptight, I'm not tense, nothing, it's just like if I'm in the, in the bar and a drink with you and Lee. I mean, You, you and Stevens were singing after you, the, the final one year, weren't it? You and Matthew Stevens, you're not singing, both of you. Oh, that was my mate Chris. That was me. My mate. Oh, was Chris. it? Um, yeah, we were singing just before. <laughs> so, yeah. But, uh, you, know. you remember that silly music that used to come on all the time on the speakers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it used to drive me nuts. We have to sing to like all the shit of the night. <laughs> um, Matty Dickinson, ninety-five. Why do you close your eyes at certain shots? It was just to see how you're queuing. You know, I mean, once once you, once you're down, especially with the sight right thing, if you're online and you're down. Really, if you close your eyes and you're in the right line, you should pot it. Um, mm. I just try that. I don't try it when the frame's still alive, but once I finish the frame, I try it and then just see that you can see how far you're off, you're off if you miss it. Yeah, I've done that a couple of times, Stephen. It's amazing actually. Cause you see, just because oh. it's, it's weird, you're shutting your eye and all of a sudden you hear the, the crack in the back of the pocket. It's like yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Mm. Very, very. I, I, would, I, suggest, I wouldn't suggest doing it in a live frame though. No, no, I don't think so. No. Um, H U W M. Eight 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 is asking what your favourite kebab shop is. Um, oh, it's a, fa- it's a place called Family Kebab, but a mile from my house, and uh, I've actually I've just had one about an hour ago. Make well, sure. Rob Inst- Instagaff says, "What's your favourite kebab as well?" 
or anything. Donut kebab, chicken kebab, cheese kebab, anything. Yeah, but you're not you're not eating red meat, though, are you? Because of the goat thing. Well, I, I haven't had a steak since I've had goat. And, oh my god, I do anything not to have that again. It's the worst pain I've ever had in my life. But <laughs> well, mostly chicken shishes at the minute. Right. Uh, okay. Veggie onions, sauce, chili. Get it on there. Chips, <laughs> spicy potatoes. <laughs> it's mad that you like goat. You can have spicy stuff, but you can't have certain other things. It's, it's mental, isn't it? Well, I, I mean, I don't know if they hundred percent know is red meat, but the doctor said. You know, stay off the red meat for a while and, and see how it goes. And I haven't had it for since I've had the goat. I haven't come back yet. Touch wood. Uh, Mark Duggan, 232. I might know the answer to this. What shot sticks out most from his career, good or bad? Oh, well, I just, I just mentioned the one. That black, I didn't play for the <laughs> I could take that black. I, I would, but uh, there must be plenty of shots. That, um... that red you rolled in in the final last year against Higgins. That was a nice one. Oh, yeah, that was... <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's a tough shot anyway, but after coming off the, the pink, I've only got to roll in the frame before. Yeah. You know, it's one of them shots. I mean, I could probably play that, I don't know, 20 times. I'd probably get about five or six at that angle, I suppose. Mm. And when he went in, I thought, well, I've got another chance here. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I know I'm going to get a 50, 60, whatever happened, because it... I wasn't nervous or nothing. I was mm. just floating around and thinking, I'm going to get the 60. I just hope I don't miss again because he's going to dish up. He was doing it to me all night. And uh, once I caught that red to go extra safe, that's when I knew I won it then. But uh, I was frightened. What happened to you? That was. <laughs> that was incredible. Incredible final. Uh, Don, Dong Ming Lao, Lao, do you regret earlier in your career when you didn't care about centuries and missed on purpose? Um, no. how, many, how many on? 400 and you're on? 450 or something, I'm not sure. So you, you could have easily had another 100, 150 on top of there. Yeah, I'd easily, easily had 150 more. Um, mm. But, I mean... You don't really, or you, I mean, you don't, asking you if you regret anything is just a, it's the most but, stupid question. In the world, I, mean, really. <laughs> I, I finished my career on 450 centuries or 980 centuries. Oh, I couldn't care less. <laughs> uh, he would. If I, if I, if I, as long as I get the stamp in the frame, what's, what's 100? I mean, it makes no difference. Uh, Charles Kelly, 6637, do you think you can win another world title? Uh, no, no. I didn't think I could win one, you know, five, six years ago. But So that means you can then? Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and, and lie. I don't think I can, no. I, I mean, I'll try 100%. I'll try my best, but no, I don't think I can win another one. Henry Dot Jones. How old when you made your first 147? Ooh, I was 15. I was, I was 13 when I made my first century. I 14, never forget. 14. I, I, 14. Huh? 14. Yeah. Well, when you made it... Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, was, yeah, I was 13 when I had my first 100, and I was, remember it. I was 134 when I was 13 as well. Straight what age did you pick up a queue? Um, uh, about nine. Nine. What was it, 10? No, no, 12. Just two weeks before my 13th birthday. Oh, very good. Uh, so go on, go on, sorry, I interrupted you. Were you about your, your 13, your first century? I mean, I was going to say, oh yeah, I was 13 when I had my first century, but I had also when I was 13, 134, a straight pink in the middle, just a screw back six inches for the black for a maximum, and Miss Q jumped over the pink. And that would have been your first century, maximum? Yeah, and uh, it took me two years then before I made uh, <laughs> my first maximum. Okay. I was tamping. <laughs> um, Luke underscore Preston 100 favourite tournament outside the Triple Crowns um, oh, Preston Gildor without doubt my favourite venue even for the even for the well I was saying that one of the majors was there all the time or the UK wasn't it <clears throat> that favourite venue um, the Barbican in York is another good one I used to like assembly that's a triple, room, that's a triple crown again assembly room Derby is another brilliant venue yeah 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 that was, I mean, we haven't played it for years. That was a good one. Um, I also like Telford. It is loads of good venues. Did you like that the Telford venue? Yeah, yeah I used to like Telford, yeah. No. Yeah, but you used to like them all with, like, single table setups, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. Not many like that these days. You've got to win two matches <laughs> to get it. <laughs> if, I, if I played again, that's where I'd be. Yeah. Table, you, table if 33. If you, if you, if you made a comeback, you long you never see a single table set up again. <laughs> Ashley Dundas twenty six. 
what happened in the taxi in Bangkok. <laughs> Robert, do you want to, you? Yeah, do you want to tell it or do I tell uh, it? Yeah, carry on, Steve. You were the one who was drunk. Well, what, not drunk, I would say. Well, what, what happened? Mark and Mark and I were were um we both lost in the I think we both lost, didn't we? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, we both lost, and um, we went for some dinner and uh in in Sukhumvit Road, and um, we had a, a few drinks. We weren't I weren't weren't bladdered. We had, we had, a, we had a couple of drinks. <laughs> um, so we decided um we needed to get a taxi back to the hotel, and um, I'm not advocating driving at all with alcohol but before we start don't do it um but anyway so we, we're getting these taxis now the Sukhumvit road is so much traffic going past so we mark says if we get a taxi will you drive it i said i'm not driving it so then after like he persuaded me so i thought yeah let, 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 let's do it so but we couldn't get a taxi. We we're stopping taxis and saying can you can we drive and we say no so they're going so we, we caused a traffic jam about two miles long didn't we because we kept on stopping taxis and then there was asking yeah. them they would say no and drive off and we finally got one. I think you gave him some bat, I think. Ten at five hundred yeah, bat. Yeah, yeah. So did, so it was about two, three mile back to the hotel. So I'm driving. Mark's in the passenger seat. The taxi driver's in the back. So I'm driving away. And, I'm, and so I'm, I know the way. That's not the problem. And in Bangkok as well, it's the left side of the road, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. But every time I got to a junction, I'm like looking each way. E below me is flicking out of gear every time. So I'm pressing the accelerator and it's going nowhere. And there's traffic jams behind. And I mean, luckily I got back to the hotel in one piece. I mean, if, if we'd had an accident, well, we, we might not have still been here. <laughs> you remember the taxi guy was screaming at you, wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah because, yeah, because I'm revving it up because you keep flicking out of gear every, every junction we're at. Yeah. You haven't got oh. good with geared cars, man, have you? You not, haven't been a very good driver with gears. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not as smooth as I, I let an automatic know this. That, that's yeah. you, you didn't like that that journey. Let me nah. did you. You've got What's what? Whiplash every time you go in a car with gears, will you? Well, tell me whiplash. That car you've got now, lunatic, uh, setting and Tesla. Oh, ludicrous. That's un, yeah. that's un, ludicrous. Ludicrous. I'll that's unbelievable. You. Yeah, I'll give you whiplash. Not to sixty-two in about two seconds or something, is it? I think it's about two point three or something like that. Yeah, crazy. I, I went in that. I thought it was in a roller coaster. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. I felt sick, remember? Mm. That's the first Horrible. car of mine you drove and I'm bumped. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the best car you've ever had? Um, well, the only car I've ever had, I wish I'd never sold, I wish I still had it, was the Yamaha. Uh, without doubt, I mean, that was just the best drive ever. It was absolutely massive. I remember you bringing it to tournaments. It was horrific. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. A lot of people didn't like it, but it was the best car ever. I remember the first day, first day I, I drove on his left-hand drive, and a, a bus's mirror smashed into the mirror on the side of my car because I went over a bit too much. My mirror was fine, the bus mirror blew <laughs> off. And I said, not even a little mark on this one, but uh, yeah, that's the best car I loved it. Wish I still had that. Uh, Adam Brown underscore snooker. What's your golf handicap? Tell the truth. Ten point one. That's okay. official. But I'm playing, well, I was playing a little bit better than that. Mm, yeah, no, I've never, still never beat you. Uh, ta, ta, <laughs> your time. Tahachi Hab, uh, do you think Ding will win the World Championship? Ever? Um, I, I thought he would have. Um, now I don't think he will. I think um, mm. I thought he would have won it by now. And, and every year he hasn't won it, it's going to get harder and harder for him. Do you, um, do you think, here's a question, do you think he's the best player never to win the world championship or is it Jimmy? Um, no, Ding. Yeah, well, of Ding. Yeah. I mean, he's won, won everything with his action and his cue ball control, everything. Mm. He should have really won it by now. I, I mm. find it amazing that the M won it. That the only thing I can put it out there must just be too much pressure on his shoulders, whether it's from himself or, you know, from China. The expectation mm. of him is so high. Perhaps he's just not under the pressure enough when he gets there. Yeah, when people ask me, I always say I say Ding over Jimmy, and there's not a lot in it, but I say Ding because he's just a, a far heavier scorer. Yeah, than Jimmy. Yeah, well, I mean, Jimmy was a great player, but for, mm. for me, Ding is, you know, in a different uh, level to to Jimmy. I mean, mm. just his score and everything. I mean, you know, I don't know how many century breaks he's had. Thomas, he's won. Mm. How he had money, I never know. But 
But then Jim, but Jim, Jim, Jimmy's final, one final, yeah. yeah. Jimmy's got a six, so so yeah, it's very hard to choose. It's it's like very um, you know, you're going to upset people and not upset other people. But um, but yes, it's from a snooker player's point of view, I I think I shade things slightly because of his scoring power, his cue ball control. Yeah, there's well, not much in it. There's not much in it. You think he's uh, going to win it? Uh, no, I think I think he's past his best. And I mean, he, he came back in the UK, and I was I was surprised when he won the UK. But then he went back to playing the way he was before. Um. Mm. As you say, he's got every whether he's got it between the ears to win it. I've always doubted that, but he's the game he's got is good enough. Mm, but I admit, maybe he's I don't know, maybe he's earned too much money now. I don't know. Yeah, I did he's still got hunger. I did, I did hear about some of the money the sponsorship he earns and that, and mm. if it is right, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing all right. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, NK. This is it's actually I, I, I didn't know this fact, but NK Donev. Uh, since you won all your finals, eighteen sixteen, is that true? I didn't know that. Yeah, three eighteen yeah. sixteen. Yeah. Which 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 was the toughest? The last one. Um. Yeah. Yeah, the one I played ten was quite tough because I think I was twelve two in front at one stage, and then ended up fourteen all, and all of a sudden I'm cruising. It's fourteen all, and it's sixteen all. Mm. I'm probably the underdog to win then, and I think I made two good breaks the last two frames, so that's probably one of the uh, the toughest ones, but wait, when they're eighteen sixteen in the crucible, they're all tough. Mm. Um, Capil dot Halai, which player do you dislike playing the most, and why? Um, well, probably Ronnie or Sella, because I only beat him once in about fifteen years. I think <laughs> that's a decent uh, reason. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike Dunn was another good. I played him about eight times. He beat me seven one or something like that. I was I haven't oh. beat him for four. Oh, I don't know. Fifteen. I got quite a, a question later on that includes Mike Dunn from Stevie Barkley. That's coming later. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jew dot Dilicious. Have you got a table at home and have you been practicing? We've already talked about that. You have and you haven't. Yeah, no. But my tripod with the camera is, is right in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, we get. I am. Um, you got it. Oh, we're going playing dart soon, aren't we? That'd be. I've still not heard from the guys. Yeah, we're though. playing. I got my dart boards up waiting for you. Well, I, 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 mine's I've got to get on a stand and everything, so. Come on, Steve. I'll be ready. ready. I'll be ready. I can't play dark stuff. So. Oh, why don't you just take the pressure off yourself again, like you always do, before <laughs> we start? <laughs> just come out and say you're going to give me a thrash in or something. Yeah, you're yeah, going to start. JS14720, what practice routine did you do when you first started playing? Uh, oh, just lineups, just constant lineups all the time. Uh, oh, I do probably. Hundreds a day. I'd, I'd never clear them up when I was young. I'd make probably 20, 30, then I'd always start again, start again. Mm. And gradually, then it'd be 30s, then it'd be 40s, 50s. Mm. Eventually, after however many years and hours I'd put in, you'd eventually start clearing them up. But uh, I think that's pretty much the basic one to start off, isn't it? Uh, Andres Cipriano, 9813. Who's your favourite darts player? Oh, that's a good one. Um, well, I like watching uh, Raymond Van Barneville is probably the used to watch you. It's one sport I can't get into: darts, darts, rugby, and boxing. Like I just, no, I just can't get into it. How can you not like darts and boxing? I just don't know. I just like just one of them. Never mind. Never wants to get into it. They're the best sports in the world, man. Come on. <laughs> and darts, so you wouldn't get fifty people in if you weren't allowed to drink. <laughs> You're part of the heavy atmosphere. <laughs> boxing's another great. How can you not like boxing? Have you ever been to a live boxing? I've been, I've, I've, yeah, I've been, I went to see uh, Nassim Hamid a couple of times and Chris Eubank and that. And that. I mean, the atmosphere is good. The atmosphere is really good. Oh. And the entrances are good. But once the boxing starts, I was bored. What about darts? Sure. Have, you, have you been to watch darts live? No, no. No. Yes, you have. You've come to Frimley Green to walk with me to watch the fight. Oh, yeah, that was a long time ago. The embassy, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. Nah. No, it's not my He was enjoying it. He was enjoying it to lose your turn to go to the bar. <laughs> hey, were they embassy? They were paying, were they not? Well, not this. No one is your turn. <laughs> uh, let's let's move, move on. Man. Danny underscore Tiger. When did you get your first tattoo? Oh, I think I was about 17 or 18, I think, something like that, a couple of years ago. What was it? Oh, it was, um, 
was terrible. It was a <laughs> Tasmanian devil. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, is there any of you any regret? Yeah, that one. I've been on about. I've been on what about the one? What about the one in your ass cheek? No, I like that's good for special occasions. I was <laughs> <laughs> to wind you up and just walk off and just give him a little. Yeah. <laughs> what Dave Dave Dovey says? What made you decide to get covered in tattoos? You just, you said you were just addicted, didn't you, for a state for a while? Yeah, I, I went. I went with my father to watch to watch him have one. He had a little dolphin on his arm. And uh oh, something like this an inch. And he passed out. <laughs> and uh, we had to like <laughs> he passed out. He said he, he said he was going to him, Are You alright? And then my father started sweating. I was looking at him. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm alright. He just went boom off the stage. <laughs> down he went. And then I thought, it can't be that bad and then I ended up just picking this thing on the wall, Tasmanian Devil. I said, Oh go on out, let me have a go and I had one. And uh, ever since then, I just got addicted. I've, had, I've got them everywhere now. Someone's just wrote a thing that says your your registration plate is a shock, shocking plate in your car. Why is they, that? Must know, they must know you. Nothing wrong with that, boy. <laughs> uh, boy. Tahir Vaz, Vazivdar, one rule you would change in snooker? Um... Oh, I, I'd love it to be like three or four misses and then ball in hand. What, instead of the frame over? Yeah, ball in hand. I hate, I hate like, you know, when people get, they got a chance to take the, the red on or something behind the black and, you know, to win to win the frame and they purposely not play to get on it and rather mm. snooker you, yeah. take the black and try to win the frame by not hitting it. The time you hit it, they're already safe. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather a few misses, ball in hand, and, and make someone win the frame rather than you keep missing it like seven or eight times and then you get safe always. Mm. You know? That's a bit. That's a bit. Sorry for pool. Can you imagine that? It's 17 all. Ball in oh, hand. You went off then. What do you say? You cracked off. Oh, I said it's a bit, a bit like pool, that one for me. Yeah, well, even if it's. I don't know, five misses or something. It's just, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't like it when, you know, I've seen some frames that they've like, you know, they're 30 behind and all of a sudden the time they get another shot, they're 20 in front just from this one snooker. Mm. You know, it's, it's, I mean, I've done it myself when, you know, rather than play for the red being a black, shaft them up behind the <laughs> black and try to get safe from a snooker. But, you know, I, I, I'd like to see that change. Sahil Shah, seven. Did you know that you beat me this is just a, not a question. Did you know that you beat me in all three triple crowns when you won three or two or three? No. When you when you won the the the, the Grand Slam, yeah, you beat me in all three of them. I didn't no, know I, that. Yeah, no, that, I didn't know that, and that's absolutely made my up. Night, that's made my night there. <laughs> that's that, you know, I, 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 well, none of them was as good as the nine two thrash, and I beat you in the British Open. I remember that one. I see. I was going through that because I've got five questions for you from Q Tracker yeah, later on. You want that? I went. One. I seen that one. I was. You want that? You that one. You wouldn't talk to me after that one. Yeah, but then I beat you at the Crucible a month later. I I, I did, can't remember that one. <laughs> I only saved myself for the big ones. Ah right. Okay. Well, you didn't do well in them triple crowns then. You just mentioned. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. I was, um, that's uh, very disappointing. Is, that is. Is that, is that uh, that's true? Is it? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. I've not, not checked it out, but that's what he said. Did you know that? I, I didn't know that, so. No, I don't mean. Cheers. Uh, George underscore 2TS. How and when did you develop the underarm shot? I've, I've always played it. Um, it's, it's only the last few years that I play a lot more in matches. I shouldn't mm. mean to play it all the time because I, I very rarely miss when I play with it in practice or even when I did use it in, in matches, but I should use it all the time. It's a, re it's a good tool to have. Yeah. What, um, Andy Bizzle, 88, would you consider punditry or commentary when you retire? Um, no, I can't see it. Once, I think once I finish playing, I, I, I don't think I want anything. You're always, you're always slaughtering my commentary. Well, to be fair, your commentary when you first come along, just remember, I got you that job in ITV. Just remember that. <laughs> just before we start. You was brilliant when you first came along. You was like, a really, you could listen to you and you talk some sense. But no... I can't bear to listen to you. Just <laughs> so like the critical of everyone. If they don't do what you say, oh, you've got a nightmare. I, I just say what I see. If, ah, it's, no, if, you, if it's bad, I'll say it's bad. If it's good, I'll say it's good. Yeah, but you don't. You, you are really hypercritical now you are. I used, I used to think you were good, but now I don't. But anyway. 
<laughs> you don't have to give me some stick in the, in the box, I know that. When? Every time. If I don't make an hundred break, oh my god. It's probably know. when you lost six. No, no, you beat did you beat Selby six nil. When did you lose you lost six nil in one match? You lost six one in that in a match. When was right. it? Oh I don't know. I, there's too many to choose from. <laughs> if it's good it's I'll say it's good. If it's bad, I'll stop, say it's bad. Stop being hypercritical, otherwise you're gonna end up like the rest of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Benny says, "How and why did you become friends? When when did we first meet? Was it when you start when you started with Ian? Or sorry, bring that name. Don't mention that name, please, and so I will switch this phone straight off. Okay. When when when, when was it? Morning. Okay, when 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 was it? Um, I'm not sure. I remember I played you when I was 17. Yeah, I seen that one in in Q Chai, the UK 98. Yeah, and, and you when I give it that, you give me the trip. <laughs> you know, I was talking on uh, Twitter yesterday. You was, I, I, I think I told you. Remember when Alex Higgins gave me this little silver pig? Yeah, I got a question, but yeah, yeah. So you, yeah. You, well, I was in the, it was in the toilet. I think I was six five up when I've gone to toilet. I can't remember the score, whatever it was. In I've gone, and he's coming behind me, and he's he said, "Mark, he's gone." This is my little silver pig. This has been my lucky charm for however many years. I'd like, to, I'd like you to have it. And then I can't say the exact words he said, but I'll try to go each gun. Do me a favour. Go out and beat that. Yeah. Word, word you can think of. Stephen Envy. Don't lose to him. I hate it. Seabomb. Stephen Envy. <laughs> I, I, I can't stand her. Like that. <laughs> now I'm trying to get past him because I think I'm going to get Dr. Frame here. I'm in front of you. And he's massaging my shoulders. I'm going out. He's like, come on. He said, don't even look at it. <laughs> and I've gone like, oh, anyway, you, you beat me. I'm there. And I, and I, and I found that pig. In the, on, I had a clean up yesterday and I found the pig and I've got it again. So I might put it on. But that's 28 years ago. I don't know why he, he gave it to me, but he, he just did. And to be fair, I've always got on well with him. I didn't know him that well, but every time I was somewhere, he'd always come over and have a chat and everything. I used to get on the right with him in the beginning, but then then you start winning, you become the enemy. No, I didn't like you. Yeah. I remember the, the, the last time the last time I beat him at the end, he shoot shoot my hand. He went up your ass, you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, isn't it? You what, do you say? what do you say to that? Yeah, what can you say? I'm just stood there like. Well, the, the, it was funny because like in in the I was it was first to nine, and I think I was, uh, maybe six two up going into the evening session and you know the UK it was eight tables and there was a corridor in between the, 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 the eight tables mm. so so I was on this table with Alex and this was Steve Davis playing someone so Steve Davis is standing there you know what Steve's like he's just standing like that like a robot like no, I'm not moving I'm, I'm sat there I'm, I'm standing there waiting Alex comes in and we're like you're like oh god what's going to happen here because you knew like and he goes to he goes to Steve and he goes he goes I'm going to fuck him tonight, Steve. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, oh, I was only about 18, 17, 18 or 19. And, and then Steve, he just, oh. Steve just went like that. Steve went. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you can say them words like can't, I get fined. So. You get fined, yeah. I'm all right. You, Apologies you remember, for the language, everyone. You, give me the, you remember giving me the fist, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right up to my nose, it was, mate. Right? Well, I don't think it was that eight, close. Eight six up I was, and I missed something on fifty yard. You've dished up, and then you've gone ninety hundred or something, and just gone boosh. Have that. <laughs> Here we go, Stevie Burke one has to spend a week with one of these: Darren Morgan, Padgett, or Mike Dunn. A week in quarantine. Can I, can I just shoot my service dead? <laughs> Um, <laughs> that'd have to be Padgy, wouldn't it? Padgy. Yeah, I'd have a laugh at Padgy. How long do you think you'll play for, says Aman Fies. Um, Well, it's, it's funny because I was thinking about it the other day, and, and after all this this is going on now um, for the last few months, which is just frightening awful, is I don't think I will ever retire now. I think I will just keep playing and playing and, and until I eventually drop off the tour, and I think... I'd even carry on to the seniors after that. I think if there was a, another tour going on, I, I don't think yeah, I would. Come on the seniors. Come I, on I the will. Seniors. I, 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 I mean, you know, 
I just don't think I could stay in the house and, and <laughs> do nothing all day, you know. Uh, so I don't think I'm ever going to retire now. Even however bad I get, I'll drop off the tour, I think I'll go on to seniors. I don't think, if I drop off the tour, I don't think I'll ever try to get back on. Yeah. I think I'll even, if you're still a senior tour going, I'll, I'll play that as well. Uh, Nathan Longley, this last one before I give you these five questions. Um, what's your favourite golf course? Um, oh, that's a good one. Oh, like, well, Brim Meadows, is a, I'm a member, I play there all the time, which is great. But the, probably the, one of the best ones around here I've played is, uh, it's called Rose <coughs> Bomber. You haven't played it yet. Mm. The next mm. time you come down, we play. It's, um, Wait, you, you play there Wednesday? Have a game Wednesday? <laughs> Steven, don't lower yourself now. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not allowed. I'm going to stare at that picture all night, behind your head. Oh, I know. I'm going to get you back at something. That's a look, look at that. I'm not sure what the score was then. I think it's mine or that it's that was a good bet in your mind. Yeah, that's the best one of the best by far mm. that was. God, what a but that um which is the one the one in Ber is it Berlin? When it goes to one table setup, that's as close as that as I've ever come to that one. Really? I've, yeah. I've played there once but not not um oh, not man. when it's been a final that. Yeah, so man. when when it's a final, do they take all the other tables out? Yeah, it's just one table in the middle and uh it's just massive, like two and a half thousand. Mm. It's not the best viewing if you're at the back because it's just one table smack in the middle. It's not a good mm. viewing as the Wembley Conference Centre, but I mean, it, it's up there. But there's loads of good venues around now. I mean, mm. especially the big ones, you know? Yeah. All right, you ready for the... How's, how's your knowledge on your career? Oh, so th this is this is Q-Tracker facts. So if anything's wrong, it's not me, it's Q-Tracker. Yeah. But I'm going through and get these five questions. Okay. Who beat you 5-4 in the final of the 1990 Welsh Amateur Championship? Dominic Dale. Robert Harry, spell H-A-R-R-H-Y. He, he did, yeah, that's right. Huh. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the only time I, I ever played in it as well. How was it? I, sh I should have got that. <laughs> Number two. I've sat on a stool here and I've actually bought off Robert Daddy from his stuff. Stop it. Yeah, honestly, I'm sat there now. Unfortunately, he's passed away now. He, he got ill oh. and passed away. He's sold a sucker club. And I've got a couple of stools here that I bought off him. <laughs> uh, number two. Who did you beat in the final of the 1994 Benson Hedges, the non ranking final? <sighs> True ending. <laughs> Drew Henry. Rod Lawler. Hey, how, long, how long did it take? <laughs> what kind of questions are these? Like, well, I'm, going to, I'm not going to go easy ones. I'm going to say, what was the score when you beat? Who did you beat in the World Championship two years ago, am I? I wouldn't get that one. <laughs> well, Ronnie, Steve, they're all unbelievable. They've got every question. I couldn't believe it. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> another, uh, another chat to them next week then, Gannon. Okay, number three. In the 1996 Welsh Open that you won, what was your highest break in the tournament? Um, oh, 73. Five. <laughs> oh, right in the middle, 74. <laughs> so. Against Ken Dorothy in the quarterfinal. Uh, was it? Well played, by the way. High spirit 74 winning a tournament. It's impressive. Yeah, it could have been about six tons, but just didn't go for him, Steve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Num <laughs> no number four, in, the 2000, in your 2000 World Championship win, who did you beat in the first round? Your first World Championship win. Mm -hmm. What year was that? 2000. <sighs> Stuart Petman. John Reed. <laughs> are you remember when when you get the answer are you still none the wiser no not that one the Robert Daddy one I was straight away mm. and the last one in the five hardest questions you could find here yeah? well I'm not going to pick through easy ones am I oh, yeah, well, here's, here's an easy one see if you get this one I, I'll get this one when was the last time I beat you as a professional well, I can't remember that far back see it must be 20 <laughs> been 20 odd years isn't it um I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you a clue. In the, in the crucible. Yeah. Second. Uh, second round. First or second round. Yeah. First round. Ten. Ten six. 
don't know. That. I can't remember. I have not written that score down. Yeah, ten six, ten seven. Sir. What year? When do you retire? About Twelve. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know. Uh, nine then. Well done. Another question you got right. You need. You need. Yeah, they missed it. Knew I'd get that one. Come on, any more? Five, I'm on the no, no. Come on. To, to me, I just to think of them, get, find them questions. Oh, come on, Steve. I was on the roll then. It's unbelievable. When you look through Q-Tracker, you can't believe some of the things that's in there. No, oh, frightening. It's now. unbelievable. I don't know how long I'll take. I must take him. Oh, uh, absolutely. Well, uh, this, this, that, the, the almanac, Crucible Almanac, that's even worse. That like, logs every show. Is it? I wonder how many times me and you have played. Have you got any idea? I did. I, I tried to look for that because I was going to say that they're going to ask you what the, what the head to head was, but it didn't. It didn't have it, or else maybe I was looking in the right place. But um, oh, you be yeah. you'd be well in front, only on the head to head. I don't know. I don't know. Well, he was still at, he was still at your pump when I was coming through mine. Mm. Anyway, what heads up later poker? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> what are you going to watch now? Twenty. You're still on twenty four. No, I'm watching Money Heist. Oh yeah, money high. I've seen you text out. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I've, I've watched it. It's, it's like it was good, and then all of a sudden you watch like twenty-five episodes. They go in. A, they go in and mint the robots on the first episode. Twenty-five hours later, they're still in the mint, and I'm like, oh, just get out. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the, the first series is coming at the end. I'm thinking, right, they're gonna get out. Come on, come on, and it just ends, and I'm halfway mm. through the next. And he's still in it. I probably spoke the first series to a lot of people now. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I've, I've given up on it. I'm, 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 maybe watch the second series, the last thing. Yeah. You have to get back in the entourage. I'm, I'm, I'm going, the third time I've yeah, gone through it. It's, it's... Yeah, I, I've watched, the, I think, three series. It didn't really grab me that much. I'm back. I'm on see, I've watched 24 and back around on see, number eight. Yeah. Someone's just said Gangs of London's good. I've heard about that. I've heard that. My favourite, without doubt, has got to be at the minute, is Ray Donovan. You've never seen it, have you? No, I've never seen it, no. Oh, you've got to watch that. That's something real. Yeah. Power is good as well. Yeah. But they, they Power, all good, isn't it? And then yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, one series too many. They just keep Power's, going. Power's all right, but no, I mean, it's nothing like The Wire. Power, nothing like The Wire. I but, never Killing Kill Eve's the one as well you need to get into. Very good. Yeah, I'm set. What about the one with all these... I can't watch that. I don't know, Flying Dragons and all this stuff. What's that called? Someone's put Debbie Does Dallas. I've never heard of that one. Oh, it's a good film, that is. <laughs> um, what's the one with dinosaurs and all? What's that called? About dinosaurs? Mountains, yeah, that's like flying... Oh, what's it called? Stranger Things, no? No. Oh, I don't know. Dragons and all that and stuff in there. Oh, right? Game of Thrones. Game ah, of Thrones. I've never watched that. that. Never watched it. Maybe never I watched it. Good, but I've never yeah, tried. Never watched it. Right, okay. We, we're oh, going to get... We're so getting cut off. Band of Brothers. That's brilliant. Oh, is it? Mm, brilliant. Mm. All right. Thanks for doing this. No probs. Good fun. It's like an hour of light. your life. You'll never get back. Yes, yeah, so I go and play Connect Four with the kids now. <laughs> I'll text you later. Yeah, let me know. Ta right. All right. Cheers, Mark. See you later yeah. on. Yeah. Ah, cool. That was. Um, uh, yeah, a couple of times it could have gone a little bit dangerous, could have gone down there for the wrong route, but I uh, managed to keep it, I think, pretty uh, pretty safe. Um, but yeah, thanks very much to Mark for that. That was excellent. Um, might have to um, have someone on a second time because um, all the people that are on Instagram have pretty much uh, interviewed. So DM me if you think you want someone back on and uh, I'll, I'll ask them and see if they fancy it. But um, thanks very much for, for joining again tonight and uh, stay safe. And see you soon. Cheers, guys.